Uh, so yeah, my demo is about uh, uh, building a. Uh, we have already built an adaptive card extension that basically shows uh, weather information uh, for our uh, office locations. Uh, so, uh, firstly, yeah, uh, firstly, I'm happy and excited uh, for the opportunity to present in this forum. This is uh, my first presentation to such a large audience. Uh, hope uh, I will not disappoint you guys. Uh, this is obviously a great platform. I want to learn about the latest and greatest things uh, from Microsoft technology space. Uh, the ideas uh, that are coming out of these uh, 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 sessions are great. Uh, once you hear them, you'll feel, you'll surely feel the urge to, you know, contribute back to the community. That's uh, how it happened to me as well. Although I had a very long career in SharePoint, uh, uh, I never, uh, you know, uh, involved in any of these uh, community calls, uh, 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 like presenting and all. Uh, I'm silently consuming all this uh, knowledge and improving, improving my skill. Uh, finally, I think I broke that uh, barrier and hoping to contribute much more uh, from here on. Yeah. Um, yeah, moving on to next slide. Yeah, it's uh, about me. So my name is Lakshman Raudupala. I work at EcoStar. I'm a primarily a .NET uh, developer, uh, which led me to land into the SharePoint world. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work uh, with uh, all versions of SharePoint, uh, WSS 3.4, MAS 2007, SharePoint 2010, 13, and uh, 16, and now SharePoint Online as well. Uh, my specialization is uh, uh, building workflows, uh, uh, be it using a SharePoint designer workflow, work, workflows or uh, custom workflow solutions using uh, Visual Studio or any third party uh, workflows uh, uh, like Nintex uh, or K2 and now uh, the Power Platform. Uh, here's the, here is my social links and contact information just in case if anybody wants to touch base with me. Um, Moving on to the next slide. Yeah, I'm interested in exploring all these uh, uh, technologies, uh, Azure M365 platform and uh, Power Apps, uh, Angular React and .NET Apps and whatnot. Uh, what is the best place to learn about these uh, things? Obviously, the community calls. Uh, this is the place where uh, we've been uh, consuming a lot of new information and putting into work. Uh, uh, it's been great so far and uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to uh, today's agenda. Mm, and uh, let me give you a little bit of background of uh, mm, uh, what it is and uh, what is the ask here, right? So basically, like I mentioned in the title, this is a weather work, weather work, weather work part for our, our office locations uh, within US. Uh, so these are the locations that we see. Uh, we have offices located over here. So I'm trying, we are trying, we try to build a, uh, web part that basically shows that information. So, um, uh, uh, let me give you a little bit background. Like uh, uh, ever since the launch of Microsoft Viva connections in my organization, uh, the curiosity around the dashboard is uh, has grown, and uh, we thought about how to utilize that dashboard space, and uh, uh, that is when I think uh, we looked around uh, building this uh, uh, ASIS uh, Microsoft Adaptive Card extensions. I think uh, these are really great. Uh, uh, in my view, I think uh, these are uh, tiny little informational units uh, that offers a rich and engaging experience to users uh, to quickly, you know, uh, take some actions. Uh, and as a result, uh, I think it will empower the employee experience very well. So ASS are definitely a new thing. This uh, this this is a new uh, component type available in SharePoint framework. Uh, to build the re to build uh, such a rich experience and uh, on onto the dashboard, uh, right? And uh, it uses uh, a declarative JSON schema, um, and that's what that's what the um, main thing in order to build the UI. Um, so, mm, yeah. So, yeah. I think uh, as you all know, ASS uh, primarily comes with uh, three kinds of templates, right? One is basic template. Uh, uh, image card template and primary text primary primary text template i believe yeah that is what we ended up using in here as well and also it comes uh, uh, with the two views one is card view and quick view i'm gonna show you how we have uh, utilized those views so in order to render our content uh, uh, in here so uh, that's about the uh, little background about that and the ask and let's look at the challenges i think uh, when it comes to the challenges if you can have a service that returns a simple json like this that we are seeing here 
uh, then it would be very easy for us to you know call that service and then uh, render it inside the control right but uh, uh, but uh, uh, for the most part it would be a paid service if uh, once as a one such exists as well right that is the challenge that uh, we also encountered uh, we also had faced and um, um, so after that uh, when we are looking for the solutions what we have uh, 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 what we have done is we looked around and the, we looked around the tools that we have at our disposal and try to see see whether uh, any of those tools can uh, do this one uh, so surprisingly i found this uh, amazon weather uh, uh, you know connector inside the uh, power apps so basically that uh, uh, that connector has a uh, two triggers uh, one is that uh, three triggers of course and we ended up utilizing two one is get current weather and then also get forecast uh, uh, and now these uh, two calls will get me all the properties that i needed but then i also have to look at uh, uh, the card in order to determine what is that uh, i'm going to show it on the card uh, let's say for example if when i looked at the uh, card uh, from the samples uh, uh, repository uh, this is the card we also uh, took inspiration from and then we built upon it so when i looked at this card these are the properties uh, that we that we relied on L let's say for example here you see uh, that uh, uh, redmond washington that is a location nothing but and then similarly last updated date and the relevant image and then uh, current temperature temperature units and then temperature high and low these are the um, least uh, uh, mean, least amount of properties that we needed so from these uh, two calls i'm able to get those uh, two uh, get those properties so with that i think uh, uh, we try to build the solution and I, I and I also uh, you see the below screenshot we also figured we also found out that found out that this uh, connection uh, for the most part it is always uh, uh, it is not it is never like down or anything like it is always good and there are no issues uh, using this connection at all so that is the one good thing about that that is also that is what we realized and then uh, we started building a solution around uh, uh, uh by taking these two things into consideration so how, what is that we built and how does it work is uh, let's go to this uh, let's go to this uh, uh, presentation and here yeah we split that into two parts one is uh, the step one uh, we have built a power uh, uh, automate job basically that runs at every 10 minutes using this microsoft connector what it does is it'll uh, uh, update the entries into the sharepoint list that is what uh, uh, the first part uh, so since we have scheduled it every 10 minutes uh, it is guaranteed uh, we almost get like a near real-time uh, weather information for any of these locations uh, and the next thing is uh, uh, we built a adaptive card uh, uh, as you can see in the below screenshot using um, uh, that adaptive card uses uh, this sharepoint list information to be able to run display inside the card so this card once it is built and uh, you know uh, deployed uh, it can be consumed from variety of ways right one is that you can uh, uh, once you enable the connections uh, uh, your home site will be tied into your teams right from there also you can uh, come and take a look at it uh, that is where basically you land that is the first phase and also from your internet also you can go and uh, uh, view from dashboard and then also from mobile you can view so these are the various uh, you know uh, offerings that it uh, brings uh, those are really great mm. uh, so yeah i'm gonna show you like uh, how this uh, card has been built and then uh, 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 it is working real time actually so and moving on to technologies yeah obviously we used sharepoint framework uh, typescript and uh, 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 rest query as well rest query is to you know um, uh, query the sharepoint uh, in order to retrieve that information uh, weather weather information mm, and then um, and then sharepoint framework obviously uh, uh, brings this extensibility feature i mean using sharepoint framework only you can build uh, uh, adaptive card extensions right so that purpose we used that one and then 
Uh, moving on to next slide. Yeah, the inspiration uh, for this whole thing is uh, has come from this particular web part from the samples, uh, where uh, there is a uh, there is a specific sample that basically performs all the CRUD operations, create, retrieve, update, uh, and delete operations against a SharePoint list. Uh, so that is what inspired us uh, uh, basically. And then uh, there is a little bit of learning curve that involved. Uh, when you are uh, working with uh, 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 when you are working with the uh, cards, so basically that has to do with the uh, JSON and how you want to format it and how you want to display it. So um, with that, yeah, we were able to build, and this is what inspired us to build that one as well. And then uh, moving on to the next side, let's take a look at the demo. Uh, so this is what the initial uh, uh, offering look like on the dashboard, right? Once you click on that, it is going to bring up uh, uh, the locations information like this. Uh, so these are the locations uh, uh, for each of them. It will bring the uh, weather information and uh, I've used all those uh, color things and then manipulating the image as well. So and also use it the bank background for this. So in the end, uh, uh, it came out very well. So let me stop here and then uh, let me show you how this looks uh, uh, from a Teams environment and a SharePoint environment and things, things like that. Let me jump back to the uh, VM. So let me bring up the screen. Yeah, this is what. Yeah. It, this is my uh, team's experience so once uh, once I click on this one right go to the connections uh, uh, this is the first page we see right so in here uh, this is the card obviously this earlier I was talking about this card this is the inspiration uh, for us to do uh, this SharePoint uh, list way so this is what that card look like so uh, let me refresh so that it can uh, fetch the latest information so once yeah and now it is ready i think once i click on this uh, you can see all this information uh, is been displayed like this uh, for each of these locations so, so yeah uh, yeah that's uh, uh, that's that's about it and uh, let me walk you through the uh, code part as well so obviously uh, there is uh, nothing much uh, uh, in here. This is a simple uh, SPFX code. And then, uh, uh, like I said, uh, I've used the same, um, you know, SP service uh, function from the uh, samples uh, example. Basically uh, in here, you'll see all the uh, functions such as uh, how to insert, how to retrieve, how to uh, update, delete, things like that or from there I only have to use just uh, retrieve information from this uh, SharePoint list. This is the SharePoint list and these are the properties that I'm uh, uh, bringing using a REST query. Uh, once uh, that's been uh, retrieved, I'm going to fill in uh, my uh, uh, list item object. Uh, so I have to uh, incorporate a little function here to be able to manipulate the image, uh, which image that I need to display. So here is that little function for each of the line item. It goes and uh, uh, looks at uh, based upon the various uh, uh, or outcomes. I mean, uh, uh, day conditions or rain conditions. I'll have to uh, implement a little logic here to be able to dynamically display the images that we're seeing out there. So yeah, that's about it. And yeah, and the other part is like I said, uh, when you are working with uh, uh, cards, you will have a quick view and then uh, you'll also have a card view, right? Card view is, uh, card view is what the front one, uh, initial one that we see here. Basically it has, it has got a title like this one. It has got a title and image and a quick view link button. So, uh, so, uh, once you click on that uh, action uh, button, it will also uh, tries to load you this uh, quick queue. That is where uh, all your uh, actual logic is exist. So we also uh, ended up doing a, uh, ended up doing this uh, building this JSON uh, as per the look that we wanted. Uh, I've, all, I've also incorporated uh, those colorings and images, things like that. Uh, so. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's uh, about it. I think. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, let me. Right. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, finally, yeah, I think uh, so. We wanted to, we want, we can enhance this. We also have an office around, uh, you know, various uh, locations, right? We can enhance this one to have a, a international locations as well uh, by incorporating a paging technique, perhaps inside that card. That is what we are looking at. But I, uh, but we are at to test and see how the connector reacts to that idea, because now we are calling more and more locations. Uh, and there will be a limit, I suppose. If not, I think that would be a great thing as well. And uh, finally, mm, I would like to thank. Uh, I would like to end my conversation by thanking. Uh, um, uh, uh, by thanking uh, David Hugo and then uh, Vesa for the relentless uh, uh, efforts uh, to bring forth the uh, latest and greatest uh, to the community and so many other contributors as well. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Nishkalank Bizward as well, who has motivated me with his presentation to come forward uh, to present before this community. And then finally, I would like to thank my uh, 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 I would like to end my uh, presentation by thanking uh, uh, Aaron Archuleta, my manager, and Jim Steve Pack, my director, who has supported me and encouraged me to you know, present uh, my work uh, before this forum. I think, uh, yeah, that's all uh, from me now. Uh, I'll see you guys again uh, uh, with something new and excited pretty soon, I guess.